have news here or a little clip courtesy of a recent event that happened at nike um they had a event i think that's meant to be honoring people that work within nike it's all like their award ceremony thing which is quite a nice little touch to be honest to kind of thank the people inside the company that have done great work bloody blah, blah 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 and they decided to invite drake there to present some awards and to obviously do a little bit of a row session and just hang out on the campus and take part in all that good stuff and i think travis scott was there also so it's a full day's event type of thing and drake decided to do a little comedy bit basically roasting kanye roasting adidas a little bit of new balance thrown in there and something about um tiger also but the takeaway from this is people thinking that drake was dissing kanye by the joke he made about kanye here and um, regarding adidas which i don't think was a kanye diss it was more so a diss against adidas and just generally an observation of what's going on in culture because for the most part from what we know um drake and kanye are back cool again i don't think they aren't cool again um all of a sudden out of nowhere because i think we would have heard about it by now um so i do think this is just like a harmless joke um that was said but it is quite impressive how funny or how tight drake's material is compared to other sort of stand-up comedians that you might see you know with specials out there especially ones that have more out on youtube and whatnot that are under 30 minutes it's definitely much better than that so let's play the video i've obviously grown up um with this check on me i don't know if you can see it it lights up this jacket belonged to um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really, a, it's really truly an honor. And when you put things into perspective, you know, Adidas has Kanye, I think. Uh, <laughs> Nike, we have LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Giannis, Michael Jordan, the greatest creative mind of all time, Virgil Abloh, rest in peace. We have Cristiano Ronaldo, we have Serena Williams. We have Tiger. And I'm pretty sure Reebok has Tiger, so we're good. Um, everybody, let's keep it rolling for another 50 years. My name is Drake. Thank you for having me. Pretty good, isn't it? It's a pretty good little research. I'm not going to lie. Number one. The jacket is pretty hard. It's like a Nike jacket with some LED swoosh on the front and the back. I'm assuming it's a vintage piece that he's probably been able to pluck out of there. Um, from what I understand, he's working with some kid, I forgot his name, who's on Instagram, who's known for kind of pulling and getting a hold of, you know, vintage and archival pieces and whatnot. And, um, you know, if you've seen kind of Drake wearing some interesting pieces in terms of combat pants or skateboard t-shirts and shit, I think that's the reason where he's got, that's the reason, the, the place where he's got from his that kid i think he's been helping him out and of course that fucking mug from hidden and why has also been helping him out get some stuff also i think i remember him saying something on a clip somewhere that he was helping i think he sent drake a pdf or sorry an excel sheet full of flipping items he should probably buy that are quite cool because there's one thing about drake that he quite good at is that he doesn't pretend to be cool i think the person that's actually cool and got their finger on the pulse is oliver the guy that's obviously i think maybe the kind of overall creative director of ovo but drake never really tries to pretend like he's cool he doesn't necessarily look cool he's not necessarily into or knows most of these brands and whatnot he just wears what's nice but it is good that he does delegate so he does get kids involved who clearly know what's up obviously his connection and his friendship with little yatty probably helps too because that kid's always kind of dripped up and all that malarkey um so that really does help in that regard um then obviously there was a clip that went around that showed his braids and he had a nike kind of braid put in swoosh into his hair which was really corny really lame but again drake's mixed race so we shouldn't really be suspecting anything more than that but i thought the bit was really good i saw i thought the little stand-up special thing that he did was re really impressive very tight but we should we should also be surprised because i remember he did like a similar sort of thing at some nba award type thing and he absolutely crushed it so clearly the guy's got jokes clearly the guy's got good timing got good stage presence and it's just a kind of proper multi-hyphenate he's like this era's version of like a jamie fox he can do it all right he can act sing rap um maybe not dance as well but he's definitely got everything into one you could imagine if drake does decide to retire from rapping and whatnot he'll make a decent actor especially considering his work he did at the grace the grassy sorry and just looking at music videos he's put together and how he's acted in them he's just got the he's got that it sort of factor when it comes to acting and whatnot so clearly there's something there but pretty decent little thing they did there for their employees i'm not going to lie um it must be nice to have 
have your you know the place your employer basically acknowledge the hard work that you put in even if you don't win i think these things why they're so good it's like when they do sometimes like workplace that i've been where they have like events where they sort of celebrate people and give people awards it's not for you to win obviously it's great if you do but it's nice to see other people that you've also records usually there's people that get recognized who get awards that's quite obvious who's going to win them because we all know who the hard workers are we all know who the people who mid burn the midnight oil the ones who aren't afraid to take on more responsibility the ones that lead with compassion and care blah, blah, blah. we all know we've seen them in our workplace so usually it's never like a surprise who wins something but it's just nice to see them be acknowledged because it kind of tells you subconsciously that you know if you work hard also you'll also be noticed and you'll also be awarded uh, or rewarded when it comes to this kind of event so it's quite nice to get that well to get that kind of good team spirit kind of seeping through the company and people can knowing that your hard work doesn't go unnoticed people are watching and seeing and noticing it all the time so i do love these kind of things as corny as they are i'm a big fan of them i think they really do a good go a long way in terms of boosting um you know employee morale overall